We're just gonna have to make sure we're on top of our game and hammer the light. Hope he shakes the tires and okay. send it. Fourth round, I pull Larry Larson. It's, it was a pretty good pull, considering the, who was all there. Uh, I felt pretty good about it. You know, it's a good, a good competitor, a good challenge. Good to see where you're going to end up at the end of the day. I'm going to screw some more of this thing, throw the kitchen sink at it, and hopefully we can uh, knock some tail feathers off, I hope. If I could get by Matt going into the final, I get to play the, the shot of spoiler, and I'll enjoy that all day long. I tell you what, what a matchup right here. disappear. Looking at the data, it shook just a little bit. As a whole, we made a nice clean run, but now I'm gonna have to really get after it. This is gonna get ugly in the final. Oh, I, I really wanna see you and Bert. I wanna see some feather flies, what I wanna <laughs> see. <laughs> Brian Martin in the Birdman Point Championship on the line! Going into this final round, Ryan getting beat. They're tied for points. It sounds like uh, there's going to be a lot of rooting for me from Oklahoma. Look, quit with me. Just let me have this. <laughs> I'd love to win this final race. We haven't won one yet. And I'd love to see that 40K spread out over the back of the truck. I'll flip it, you call it. I'm going to do it just like I did last time. Heads up. Heads it is. Left lane. Yes, you do deserve that. Thanks, buddy. Your turn. All right. We'll go down left lane, I guess. You should have took that left lane. <laughs> it works better for pickup trucks. <laughs> You're all always up for something new. You've had the right lane all day long. You've had something all right, new. We're good. Uh, I'm sure you are. Good luck, buddy. All right. So all right. Have Enjoy that left lane. <laughs> you ass. You too. <laughs> it's been fourth race in a row that, that I end up facing Birdman. So here we are again, into the finals, thank gosh. Know it's going to be a drag race. Congrats, man. Thanks for letting me into this deal. I Problem. appreciate it very much. Problem. No pressure on you right now. <laughs> yeah, four races in a row that I've met him. I know. This was for 40 grand. <laughs> so was the other one. I missed out on the pot at all. <laughs> all right, man. Be safe, brother. Hey, don't be jumping or anything. No, silly. no jumping. <laughs> Please, no jumping. I'm going to make sure he leaves early on your ass. <laughs> no. This is big. This is huge. This is uh, $40,000 for this race and 50000 for the championship. Yep. Good luck to both of you. And yes, you got them big turbos Same over there? Thank, Thank you, man. I got some big ones. you. Carl, so I'm wrong. I'll talk to both of you, OK? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir, buddy. We will be rooting for him in the, in the <laughs> I know you just will. Just because I want to see you make one more pass. <laughs> Ryan and I are tied right now. It all comes down to this. If we don't beat Larry Larson in this final, we have to go back and race Ryan Martin in a race off to determine a champion for that fifty thousand dollars. Ready? All right. Y'all be careful. Right. Suit up. Right. Takes me a minute. Be careful, be careful buddy. Yeah. I ain't doing that. I'm beating Larry Larson right now. All right, here we go.
Larson in the final. I knew he was going to be tough to beat. We turned it up just a little too much, knocked the tire off on the big end, but luckily we were so far ahead, I believe we were we were good. Well, I know we were good. Hell yeah, baby! Yeah. You don't beat that and It came down to, I've got to beat him to win the 90,000. So I don't beat him, and I don't have anything. So golly, pressure? Yeah, that's pressure. I like it. We gave it our best. Yep, yeah. we gave it our best. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bunch of amazing fans here that have been rooting me on. You know, I hate that I lost for those for those people and for my group and, and everything. But uh, it's it's amazing to be basically in our backyard racing for the champion. Just to be in the spot, you know, for me is is badass. There's a good chance I'm going to be racing Birdman again. I'll do everything I can to kick his ass next time. The most feared man in no prep and the fastest no prep racer in my opinion, on Earth. Hurry up, Chuck, this is heavy. Okay, $90,000. Hell yeah, baby! Woo. There's $40,000 for winning the race. There's $50,000 for winning the No Prep Kings Championship. 90,000, I never in my life dreamed we'd be racing for 90,000 frickin' dollars. I gotta say, our No Prep series was a huge success. We had wrecks, we had breakdowns, we had a ton of fun. Birdman proved he is the fastest man in no prep. Next year, we gotta figure out what we have to do to dethrone the legend. <laughs> That's how you do that right there, guys. Hell yeah. Birdman racing, you guys. Give him one more hand. All righty, we've got an exciting one coming up. The left-hand lane, Dews Nuts, OKC 405, James the Reaper Gold. Brought the new car, Pro Charge car. It's not a nitrous car. The car's really doing well, better than it's ever done. We're coming out here. We're going to see what we can do in this series. Hopefully take home the money. The no car in the right-hand lane belongs to Randy Williams. Uh, no prep for King season one. We ran into about mid-season. We got a little trouble at uh, Tucson, Arizona. totaled our car. We had to go back to the drawing board, take a different approach to this no prep, but we're coming back and I think we're gonna be a contender. The Reaper brought his car out a little bit last season. Now he says he's got it working well. Let's see what happens. The Reaper went all the way to the semifinals at Bristol and knows what he's doing. This should be interesting. Okay, folks, featured matchup here. He'd been waiting for this one, making his no prep king's debut. Maza versus Amarillo Mike. Last year, no prep kings. I only got to run three races. This year, I will be a force to be reckoned with. Left side belongs to Monza. This is our first season to do the No Prep Kings. My car is definitely a contender. I mean, it's working really well on the unprep track, and it's definitely going to be fast. I 60 footed him, and the throttle cable broke on my car. The car just immediately went to idle. So that means at the second race, I got to kick some ass and make it to the final four or the finals to get my points back up to where we're in the, the top 30 for the third race. Interesting matchup coming right here. Chris Poncia coming up in a twin turbo pickup truck belonging to Ryan Martin. In the right hand lane, 
and none other than Daddy Dave. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna bust this truck's ass, move on to the second round. California Chris, the F-150 Lightning, all steel body. I'm driving a 95 Ford Lightning truck owned by Ryan Martin. So last season I was driving a 67 Nova and uh, I ended up wrecking it in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Chris is in the wall on his... I uh, haven't gotten it quite back, so uh, Ryan was uh, nice enough to let me take his truck. to take home the W. We do the burnouts. We go to pull up there. I'm going to play a little staging game with him. Fortunately, he goes right through the beams. The nice guy I am. I let him back up. I let him stage, do his deal. We pull up there, let go of the button. I don't see Chris, and my wind light comes on. We've got a couple more races ahead as we get close to the end of round one. Jack French and the Bruder Brothers take on Bodie. Jeff Lutz versus Mike Henson. And coming up next, feature matchup. This ought to be exciting. Hang on. Left-hand lane belongs to the Jack Trap and Chuck Seitzinger out of the 405. First round, I draw Sean Wilhoyt in his 67 Camaro. Look, I'm not worried. I've beat him before. Fix a drive out of his life, send his ass straight back to Texas. Brand new race car in the right-hand lane, John Wilhoyt. Mistress two, this is an all-steel Camaro. Sean Wilhoyt, we finished number six or seventh at the end of the year last year. The OG car was tired, and we got the new one here. And first round, we drew truck. Chuck's a tough competitor, man. And we're just gonna go out here and do what we normally do, take home the money. That was a strong pass. Great performance for Will Hoyt over there in the right-hand lane. Sean Wilhoyt just laid down a number right there. Chuck did all he could over there, but man. Never heard him, never saw him. He got all over the front. He was just a fly on the windshield. Right. Oh. Tough loss for Chuck. He's going to need to earn as many points as he can next week so he can make the top 30. In the left-hand lane, out of the 405, Jeff Lutz. In twin turbocharged 57. In the right-hand lane, Mike Henson. My name is Mike Henson. I'm from Yukon, Oklahoma. I drive a C7 Corvette they call Plan B. I'm coming in untested, but I'm going to do my damnedest to take that 40 grand home, because that's a lot of moolah. Jeff Lutz, Mike Henson. Jeff Lutz doing what he does. Go straight A to B for the W, give it up. Wow, Jeff Lutz. He just took off, and Mike Henson, nowhere to be seen. What a hit. What happened? It's fun. Did you? Hey, honor to race, bro. You know it. Yeah. Right? We'll get her lined up. Hey. What a round one, huh, folks? Give it up for all the racers. We're about to get started with round two. Don't go anywhere. Through the burnout, everything's going great. As we come to the end of the burnout, I heard a loud noise in my car, so I knew 
something was broke. So I, I didn't hit the break or anything. I just drifted on, tried to get to the end of the track. Didn't quite get to work out and uh, for us to race each other. So he is done, it looks like, and is going to take it through the finish line. Hate to see that for the Axeman. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, Brent Austin and the Megalodon. Number one bad boy. And this is one bad car. My friends, is bad news. Megalodon just got a bunch of data from the track, which will help him as he tries to catch Ryan Martin. Damn! So that's what it takes to run with Chuck, is this. Draw Chuck first round. Chuck and I are friends, but we talk a lot amongst each other, because we're both hot-headed, we're both mouthy, we're both cocky. <laughs> my phone out. I just, I just want to get the same view I'm going to have at the end, so I just want to take, oh, take the phone. Go. Oh. <laughs> I just want to know what it's going to look like when I'm, when I'm driving, I'm pulling their shoes, I'm looking in the hey, mirror. Chuck, it looked gonna... like the last time we raced. Okay, that didn't look pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I was on small tires, you was picking on me. I lost oh, 500 I was bucks. On you? Yeah, I lost 500 bucks. Did we bet money? Yeah. No way. I lost 500 bucks. We got a different motor in the car. Got a whole different car, as a matter of fact. I put Old Reaper back together for Bristol. The fans ate it up. I guess they really want to see this car come back out, even though I just put the car back together. Car's running great. Now it's got a 540 with a Pro Charger on it. Brooders are helping me tune the car. Car's hauling ass. Gentlemen, how about that? Reaper with the win over Chuck Sightseeing. He was on a good run, too. Yeah, they both were. They both were. Chuck's really fast on that line. I'm not the fastest guy on the line. He leaves on me a little bit, so his car went into second gear. I think this is what they call running the hell out of somebody's line. That was a race, brother. Good job, Rice. You had more power than me because you drove around me. Hey. I cut a light on you and you drove around me, man. I don't give a It's all race you. Good job, dude. We're good? You ready? Yeah. I just wanted to be done. We've been struggling with this new car. Kai's been helping me out. He's worked hours. I mean, he got at 4 o'clock in the morning and worked all the way to 3 o'clock in the morning to get this car down the racetrack. I raced my way in. First round of driver's meeting, and I end up getting Ryan Martin first round, and Elena didn't even race in all day. Uh, he's a fast car, so I got to be on my game. Here we go with a feature matchup coming at you right now. This is going to be extremely good. In the left-hand lane, Big cubic inches of Pat Muse power driving the aftershock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lizzie Muse. In the right hand lane, currently number one in the points. Everybody trying to beat this guy, but that is a tall order. Out of the 405, ladies and gentlemen, in the fireball, this is Ryan Martin. Right. 
price of admission right there. Oh, boy, I'd like to know how close that was on the big end. What a drag race. Ryan Martin goes into round number two. I let go of that button, the car left. It left smooth as can be. I didn't see Ryan at all. So I said, man, I got this guy right now. I got him. And then and as soon as we pulled right to the finish line, he blew right past me. He got me good. Hey, good, good job. Awesome. Good job. That's a good job. Hey, that, that was a really good pass out of the car. You Thank guys, you. that thing's coming around. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> Cody Baker will be in the left lane racing. Larry Larson will be in the right lane. Cody Baker versus Larry Larson. Where's my number twos? Larry Roach, the ax man in the right lane, will be racing again. Chuck in the left lane. We race each other in Ohio. Wow. Two wicked fast cars. Um, wow. All right, where's our number threes? We got Scooter oh, all the way from Mississippi. Drove all the way up here from Mississippi to race Kai Kelly. All right, where's my number fours? Oh, oh. your favorite from the East Coast, Megalodon racing Fireball Ryan Martin coming up right here. Wow. You ain't got no easy draws, no. do you? All right, where's our number fives? Ooh. Ooh. We got the Bruder Brothers in the right lane, racing 405, Chuck Parker out of the left lane. That ought to be a good matchup. All right, number six. Oh, Stinky Pinky will be in the left lane. Not in my house. <laughs> Not in my house. <laughs> Getting drugged by Monza in the right lane. I'll be sure to bring yeah. some Vidal to see All right, seven, I need my seven. number sevens. Oh. oh. Another! You guys drove all the way here. Duck! 405 racing Jeff Lutz. Wow, what a matchup. Number eight. Who's got eight? Ronnie Who's got Pace. eight? Ronnie Pace drew the bye into the third round. These people want to see us beat each other up, so let's get our cars up here and get a race on. Let's pull the hood off, make sure the fitting's tight. I ain't gonna take it, I don't wanna take a chance. Here we go! Round number two, our invitational $40,000. Morello got beat the first round, so I'm only two rounds behind him right now. And hopefully we can catch up on some championship points today and win that 40K. In the left lane, out of Texas, the blown entry called Shake and Bake, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Baker. <laughs> the race against Cody. He got out on me. Once again, had to do some driving, but we nipped him through the lights. Going to third round. We'll see what happens for next round. That was a race, wasn't it? I'm like, son of a bitch, he's out there a long ways. It didn't shift again. I don't know why this thing won't run on the damn top. Man, it runs good down low, I can tell you that. Do a quick look, everything else good? Y'all have already started it after you done the plug wires and everything. Okay. Round two, Chuck versus the Axeman. We're fourth in points. We're chasing the top three guys in points. Mike Marilla goes down first round. That gives our team a chance, but you can't win without going through the Axeman. Through Chuck, uh... I raced him at the last race. He had me by about a car. So with the tune-up we have in it now, I'm going to suck his paint off that little white Mustang. All right. Please welcome Larry, the Axeman Roach, in the left-hand lane, needing a win right here. Driver of the death trap. Vincent, please welcome Ch 
Chuck Seisinger! Chuck Seitzinger with amazing pass. And takes himself into round number three and gaining more points. That one was over at the hit. We good under the hood? Yep. Look, tires good? Uh, yeah, just gonna let them go. In the racers meeting, I drew one of my teammates, Kai Kelly. I'm having to use my backup car, so really don't know how it's gonna go. We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna swing for the fence and see what happens. Here we go, North Carolina. The nitrous entry. Benson makes a noise for Kai Kelly. He entered in 31st place. If he can continue to go rounds, he'll crack the top 30 and won't have to race his way in next week. Can he do it? to the nitrous guys as Kai Kelly takes the win with a shocker Camaro. So we did valve train, rods, rear end last night. So hopefully it'll stay together for us because we need to go about, what is it? Yeah, all the way, which I'm hoping at least about another four more rounds, <laughs> yeah. Second round I draw Megalodon. I really would have rather Megalodon drew Larson or somebody put somebody like that out, uh, but instead I gotta race it. So it is what it is. Get your cameras out, this is the one. Round two, Drew, Ryan Mark. <laughs> it's, it's a draw neither one of us want to make, especially not this early in the game. So we're gonna throw a tune up at it, which I'm sure he is. Good weather out here today, we're gonna see what happens. Come on, at the same time. But he went out first because he first first. Well, as we saw, both red lights cut on. We actually know what we saw with the naked eye. So there's some discussion right here to make sure we get straight. Here, watch the video. Bam, he's still sitting there. Yeah, that he, right he there. He left way crazy. earlier. In the racing world, first is worse. In this case, Megalodon, red light first, Megalodon's out, Ryan Martin moves on. Good job, brother. No, no Good problem. job. Thanks, man. <laughs> Off to the next. Good job, brother. Thank you. All right. So it looks like we got Dominator first round, right? Yep, Dominator. Dominator's pretty tough. We're not going to take him lightly. I'm going to go ahead and throw a tune up in this baby that's going to get us down through there. I feel like I have an excellent shot of winning the whole thing. I mean, the swamp thing's running sweet. It's making some power. It's ready to do its job. I drew Swamp Thing first round. We're the number six race. The last race I ran him at was Thanksgiving weekend a year ago, and I got my ass drug. So I'm fixing to return the favor. Taking on one of New Orleans' finest, the Swamp Thing. Set the top bulb. I bumped in really quick. I seen instant green, let go of the brake, and I was gone. It was shaking from 60 feet on, but 
With him, I'm not peddling. We're on to the second round. From the 405, the OKC God here, Jeff Lutz, taking on Marcus Gaston. My name's Marcus Gaston. I'm from Hazel, Texas. Brought an S10 pickup. It's got a big block Chevrolet in it. Cold box nitrous system. Pretty confident about this round. We'll see what happens. I've never seen him run. We've made some pretty good licks. I felt it felt good till you get out there in the loop and it starts skating around, but you know what? It started to bounce out there. Yeah, we'll take that all day long. Good job, guys. Good job. What do you think about it? Like, what you're going to do? I'm going to do the exact same tune up I had last night, regardless. Are you? And I'm going to go A to B, and if he beats me, he beats me. Who are you racing? John Duff. Uh, he didn't make a hill last night. Right? Yeah, you'll be all right. He didn't make no. a hill last night. Here's the funny thing about that. Everybody's been dying to see this 405 versus Nola. There it is. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, every one of us. We're gonna put this to bed once and for all. Who the really, the truly fastest is? Because our fastest guys are here. They're fastest guys, and we drew them all. All right. So here we go from the OKC. Mr. James Goad in his '68 Camaro, which he calls the Reaper, as he's getting ready to take on. Scott Taylor. I pull over the line, I stage. Get on a trans brake, I let go of the button. <laughs> Guess what? Never seen Reaper, not one time, just gone. Scott Taylor moves on to round two. All right, so here we go, another 405, taking on New Orleans. And I had my finger on the button. As soon as the bubble goes full, I was told to flip it. It was full. It was. Man, and I flipped it. Hey, you gotta learn how to flip that switch. You that's an them. I did not. I flipped it when I was supposed to. I was looking at that. I mean, in the light, it's, well, I have the fourth light comes on, and then it goes out instantly, and then it red light, because he rocked. And I know the dude did the dude drop the tree as soon as he seen all fours. Fair is no, fair. No way. Rerun they, both of them. Right. Rerun re both. Okay. I have a Can all four cars rerun? That That's I'm the next step. Go. You're ready to go. I'm, ready to go. I'm and I'll be ready to go. So we can rerun ours. I need Ryan Martin and Kai Kelly. Can they rerun? Our car's ready. Your car's ready. Okay. So we need Kai Kelly. I need an answer from Kai Kelly. All right, bump it. Bump it. All right. We need a 916 and an impact. Chuck said we gotta re-race that race because something happened with the tree. And that sucks. We put Ryan Martin out and he was number one in points. That was my whole strategy. And now I got a hurt motor. The good thing is I got my other car here showing it today, Aftershock. It's not ready to race, but the motor's ready. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time, but Randy Williams, he offered his lift to help us pull the motor. I don't even know if this is gonna happen. He's gonna have to be able to race in about 30 to 40 minutes. If he's not ready, then we're just moving on to second round. My plan is no different than the first race. I'm going to leave on the green light, I'm going to stretch him out, and I'm going to show Bowling Green, Kentucky just how fast the death trap really is.
And the green light comes on. And just like before, I leave Jason Can too, way behind. I think the guys that voted this re-race, they might have forgot about something. I came to Bowling Green, Kentucky to take home $40,000, and they just gave me a free test pass to do that. So final 16 coming up next.